Hey guys, what's going on? Illegal Mist here. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the create CSV log within RSL Helper. We're going to show you how to export it into Google Sheets, as well as a formula that I've created so that you can get a better understanding of what kind of gear you got. Let's get right into it. So to create a custom CSV log, it's actually super simple. All you need to do within RSL Helper is ensure that this checkbox next to create CSV log is checked. Once you do that, you need to run some runs on a dungeon so that it collects the information. After you've run a couple runs on a certain dungeon you can go in and click on the folder and it'll pop up information for you on your log artifact data sheet file explorer will open and it'll show you your log artifact data you can go in and choose any of these to find all the specifics of the certain dungeon that you ran it'll only collect data from every time you click start to stop so if you want to get mass information on one excel sheet you just need to simply go in and make sure you don't click stop before it finishes you can also combine information on each of the sheets if you open them individually and then copy and paste into one of the sheets. For this example, we can go in and we can take information from Fire Golem, which is Fire Knight, and we'll use this one that's 84252. All I need to do to put this into a Google Sheets is have a Google account and go to Google Sheets. I can go in and click on Raid Shadow Legends Artifact Tracker, or if I have a new sheet that I want to make, I just click the plus sign and it'll pull up a brand new sheet. When I have a brand new sheet, I just need to go to the top left and click on File and Open. Once I click Open, I can go over over to the upload section and I can click browse or drag a file. Now I don't know where my files are saved specifically so I can go back into RSL helper. When I'm in RSL helper I can click on this box right here to open up the files and it'll automatically pull where my information is. From here I can click above all of the individual files to find exactly where my files are saved. So for myself it's saved under users, my name, app data, roaming, RSL helper, log artifact data. I can take that and I can copy it, go back into the browse. When I'm in here I can simply left click above all of the files right click paste and then click enter when I do that it'll automatically take me to where all of my files are I can then go in and I can choose the specific file that I want it so right here we have the fire golem cave which is the one that we talked about earlier and then I just click open once I click open the file will slowly open and it might pull up like this all I need to do is just click on it open with in the top middle and click Google Sheets now my file has opened and I have all of the information that was collected from those dungeon runs looks like I only ran one run on fire night during this period so it only has has one piece of gear. To help you guys understand this, I think this will be a great example though. The first column shows the price of the item if you were to sell it. The second column shows the rank. The third column shows the type of artifact, so whether it's a helmet, shield, gloves, or something like that. I believe the level is what level the piece of gear is, but I think it's level zero just because the artifact hasn't even fully made it into your account yet. Column E shows the main stat, as well as column F shows the percentage of that main stat. And then we have subtype zero, which is your first substat. Sub zero value is the value value of that first substat. And then we keep going on for substats one, two, and three, which are in reality substats two, three, and four on your piece of gear. So we can see for this piece of gear, substat three, which is really the substat four on a piece of gear is zero. And then the substat value is 0%, meaning that this piece of gear is most likely a piece of epic gear. When we go over to column O, we can see the rarity of the piece of gear. For this one, it's rarity four. And it goes, I believe one is common, two is uncommon, common, three is rare, four is epic, and then five is legendary. And then with the mythical pieces of gear coming out with hard dungeon, that'll simply go to six. For column P, we have artifact set. So with each artifact set, we have a number associated to it. If you're going in and you're doing this by yourself, you won't know that artifact set number 28 is tied to a specific type of set. So uh, our best guess could be that it's any of the sets from Fire Knight. And column Q shows us the accessory set for each accessory. If we're running spider, we'll see a number associated with that and it'll show us what kind of set that piece of gear is when you pull this information by yourself it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense i ended up going in and creating a formula so that we can better understand each of the pieces of gear that we get from this csv file we can see that i have multiple pieces of gear that i farmed for this specific one again we can see all of our runs come in and we can see the pieces of gear as well as their substats and everything but we still don't have our rarity artifact sets or a clear understanding of what this actual piece of gear is. Again, like I said, I went in and I created a formula to help us understand better. When we go over to the Your Runs Explained column and we zoom out a little, we can clearly see that this piece of gear is a six star rare chest piece in the crit damage set. We get that because the formula that I'm creating is looking at all of the information that Farbsoft creates and it'll go in, it'll find the pictures that I've uploaded to this document and then it'll associate the rarity with the background color. So we can see the piece below the 
first one is a five star rare weapon in the regen set. We can further see each of the pieces main stat and substats more clearly. For the first example, we know it's a six star rare chest piece in the crit damage set, and we can see the main stat gives us 35 lat attack. The substat one gives us 5% crit damage, substat two is 6% HP, and then we can move on to substats three and four. Because this piece is rare, we don't have substats three and four, so you just see a dash in that position. Now this is a dynamic Excel sheet, and what I mean by that is you can go in and you can add any of your information and it'll auto populate these fields. We can go over to our your runs tab and then click file and import. Once we click import, we're going to go over to upload and then click browse. This one's a dragon's layer. It's pretty small. This one's got three kilobytes. So we can try this one um, and then replace current sheet. Okay, now we know the artifact sets is populated. So I go over here and I can see boom, my colors have changed. My pieces of gear have changed. And then I have a general understanding of what each piece of gear is. So it's a great way to actually understand and visually look at your pieces of gear that you're farming in the dungeons. I can go through really quick and I can see, okay, my legendary pieces, you know, I only have a five star legendary and another five star legendary. We can see these crit damage gloves that are five star in the accuracy set much easier than if we went over to our document that RSL helper populates us with. So that same set of crit damage gloves is populated here in this row. We can see it's a lot more difficult for us to understand what this piece of gear is because it shows us the type of gear and all the information but we know generally it's crit damage gloves we can't really tell what set it's in you know we got to make sure we freeze our top row so that we can see what row we're looking at and whatnot but it's just a much clunkier way to look at our gear so when we use this your runs explain tab boom everything's there i can zoom out you guys can see now i have a much easier picture of what gear i'm actually getting from rsl helper so if i want to go back and i want to change this from a dragon run to let's say a fire knight run i click on file and then import in the top left and then i go over to the upload portion i want to click browse and then i pull up all of my log artifact data let's find one for fire knight that's a little bit bigger of a file so this one is six kilobytes so it should have a decent bit of information then i go to the bottom right and i click open once i click open i want to make sure when i import my file i don't want to hit import data i want to go to my import location and i want to change it to replace current sheet and again i want to replace the current sheet when i'm under the your runs tab i'm under the your runs tab which you can see if i move out of the way so it's the your runs tab right here in the bottom left we can clearly see i'm on it and i can replace current sheet and then import data once i do that i saw my data change and i can go back to the your runs explain tab and i can see all of this information changed on its own now i see my first piece of gear that i got was five star regen gloves that were main stat of 25 attack so a useless piece of gear but much easier to understand than if i go through i look at this row i go oh yeah artifact set 15 yeah that's regen right i knew that uh you know Know, it's got a subset of speed when in reality boom all that information much more condensed much easier to understand so this is a great way for us to visually see our dungeon runs gear and all of the information on that gear but if i'm doing spider runs there's only one small change i need to make i still want to go under the your runs tab and i want to go in and click file import once again i'm going to go over to upload and browse and then i want to make sure that i choose one for spider cave all right this one's 12 kilobytes so it's a big one and then i just click open once it's open, again, I want to change my import location to replace the current sheet. I make sure that I'm on the Your Runs tab, which I, I can tell. And uh, if I kind of move out of the way, you guys can see it's a little highlighted. And then I click import. I import that data and you can see that my artifact set now is at zero for all of my pieces, but my accessory set actually has a number in it. These accessory set numbers correlate to the faction that it's from. So instead of clicking on my Your Runs Explain tab, I want to go over to Spider runs explained. Now I can see all of the information for my spider runs is populated and I can see the types of gear that I got. This is a pretty good banner for the Ogren tribes, which I probably wouldn't have found otherwise. Again, I can scroll through and I can look at all of the pieces of gear in a much easier to understand format. If I get down to the bottom and I can see for this example that we have an amulet already populating here, but our stars and all of our substats and main stats aren't populated. All I need to do is highlight all of the columns A through O, go down to the bottom right of this 
O column and it'll pull up like a crosshair. I left click on that and then I drag it down as far as I think I need. I can see that these populated with NA showing that there's no pieces of gear there, but now I can see it populated more pieces of gear. So now I know I have all of my pieces of gear in here. So if for whatever reason you copy this file and you're not getting all of your pieces of gear, just make sure you highlight that whole row and then you drag that crosshair all the way down. So great, now I know how to import my spider and my dungeon runs. And whenever I populate my spider runs, my dungeon runs won't have a piece of gear under the piece slash rarity. And when I populate a dungeon run, we can see it won't populate the piece rarity for spider. So again, just to show that, go in, browse, we'll find a region real quick, replace current sheet, import spider runs now shows na and we can see the pieces of gear here so that's a general breakdown of how to use rsl helpers csv files as well as having a better understanding of what those files actually entail if you guys have any suggestions on how i can make this easier to digest please let me know in the comments below i've got some other ideas that i want to make for this csv file and how to make it easier to understand as well as the potential to use these files to create your own cell options it's all in the pipeline right now so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that sort of stuff in the long term future. If you guys like this kind of video, please let me know in the comments below and make sure to hit that like button if it helped you out. Huge shout out to Farbstoff for making RSL Helper and making these CSV files so that we can go in and understand the gear that we're getting from each dungeon run. That's all I've got for you guys in this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.